come Holy Comforter, thy sacred witness bear in this glad hour. Thou who almighty art, now rule in every heart and ne'er from us depart, spirit of power. Please be seated. His name was Denny. Denny was a lineman for a power company and was badly burned when he fell on a high voltage line caught by both arms with the wire underneath. Surviving the burn and the surgeries, he eventually came to the physical therapy department where I worked and he needed stretching stretching of his scars. It hurt him so much that he often came to therapy with alcohol strongly on his breath because the scars hurt and to try to be functional hurt. They hurt him so badly and I felt so deeply for this burned victim, our patient, this child of God, this human being. The original wounds had healed but the scars called major they, they caused major problems for his functioning in daily life. In order for his arms to try and function properly, the scars had to be stretched. He needed to be functional. There were major challenges to that. <clears throat> so, too, is the issue this morning for our wounds and their subsequent scars. We desire to be in the world and to function as we know we want and need to do. So where do we go for this deeply needed therapy? You already know the answer to that because you're here. We must go to the Holy Comforter, to Jesus, our wounded and forever scarred Savior. Today's gospel says, come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Our wounds and scars tempt us to rush on and on and to stay so busy in an attempt to try and forget the pain. We come to our therapy sessions, as it were, with alcohol heavy on our breath or other would-be painkillers in our system, knowing that there is profound hurt in facing the original cause of the burns which scar our souls. We need Sabbath. We need rest from this running and the attempts to numb the pain. Paul writes, I do not understand what I do, for what I want to, to do, I do not do, but what I hate, I do. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God, who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. I believe that most of us, if not all of us, can relate to what Paul is saying here. These behavior patterns for Paul and for us are often the result of some kind of burn, some kind of burn injury to our souls, our spirits, our collective psyche. We have been wounded, all of us. What do the scars Tell us, what do we do when we are weary of their pain? Do we know how to rest? Do we really know how to keep any kind of Sabbath? Do we know where to go for therapy? The old saying of, I'm sick and tired, <clears throat> is all too familiar to all of us. I don't know what became of Denny. It troubles me to this day. Often, 
chronic pain patients will take their own lives because the hurt is simply too much to bear. And perhaps all of us have a scar on our souls because we know someone who took that route. What will we do with our injuries, the still open wounds or the scars that are upon our soul, upon our mind, upon our heart? The invitation for us today is to come to this altar. Will we come to this altar to be fed by the one who endured so much pain for us that we might not have to endure it any longer? I'm not a fool and I know that simply praying and saying I have faith makes physical issues go away like some kind of magician's trick. If that were the case, my hip wouldn't hurt like it does this morning because I would have already prayed it away. But we know where to come for help, and that's why we're here. What I am saying is that the essential help that we all need is to have faith and hope that we are not alone in the painful journeys of life. In order to survive and to move on, we must have hope or we may be tempted to give up and potentially even to end it all. We must keep Sabbath for our bodies and for our souls. The last stanza of our closing hymn today says, Lord of all gentleness, Lord of all calm, whose voice is contentment, whose presence is balm. Be there. At our sleeping and give us, we pray, your peace in our hearts, Lord, at the end of the day. God's peace is the ultimate holy comfort and help that we need. The help that we need in resting, in keeping Sabbath, and in coming to him with our pain in Jesus' name. Amen.